Hi everyone. In this episode, we're going to look at managing Chrome devices in your school or district. We'll jump into the admin dashboard and talk through some best practices and settings that you should enable for your school or district. Before we dive right in, you might have heard that a few weeks ago, Acer announced the Chromebook Tab 10, a new tablet device running Chrome OS that you'll be able to manage in exactly the same way as all of your other Chromebooks. That means you can have a shared cart of tablets where users easily log in and out just like they would on a Chromebook and have all of the apps and settings that are ready for them. The Chromebook Tab 10 is a really beautiful device. It has a 9.7 inch screen, 32 gigabytes of internal storage with space for a micro SD card, and it even comes with a built-in Wacom stylus, which means you can get creative on the fly. We'll have a deeper look at the Chromebook Tab 10, including some hands-on very soon. For now though, let's jump into the admin dashboard and take a look at some of those settings that you could set up for your Chrome devices and your G Suite users. So here's the admin dashboard. We're gonna click on device management here and choose Chrome management on the left-hand side. On this screen, we actually get two options. One is for user settings, which affects users no matter which device they're logged into. And the other is device settings, which affects all devices in that particular organizational unit. We'll start with device settings. And I just want to talk you through some of the key settings on this page. The first here is forced re-enrollment. And that means if a student manages to wipe the device or put it in developer mode, they can't actually do anything until it is re-enrolled into your school's domain. Next up is a message that will appear if the device is disabled and you can turn on guest mode which allows people to use the Chromebook without logging in as a user. I recommend turning this off in schools. We can even restrict Chromebooks to only allow particular users from my school domain to log in. And one of my favorite settings here is to auto complete the domain name on the login screen, particularly helpful for younger students. We can also decide whether usernames and photos are shown on the login screen, or we just get a simple box to type our username and password. Now let's jump into the user settings by clicking Chrome on the breadcrumbs here, and then user settings from the menu. And again, I'm just going to pick out some of the key settings on this page that I think are worthwhile setting up for your school or district. So let's start with some of these enrollment controls. We can decide when we enroll a Chromebook which organizational unit that we can see on the left hand side that Chromebook is added to and you can have it placed in the OU where the user enrolling it exists which is helpful. You can also change enrollment permissions so that anybody can enroll devices which means you can have students help you enroll devices from large deployments. A massive time saver and they don't require any kind of admin access. In the Android section here you almost certainly want to allow Android apps, particularly if you're in a one-to-one -one Chromebook environment. And that's really going to allow you to unlock everything that a Chromebook and the Google Play Store have to offer. The idle settings here are particularly helpful and I like to set the action on lid close to log out. That's really helpful in a shared cart environment. If a student is logged in, they simply close the lid to be logged out. And finally, the show logout button in tray is super helpful. It saves an extra click by displaying a red sign out button in the bottom right of the Chromebook shelf. And don't forget, all of these settings will be exactly the same and available for the Acer Chromebook Tab 10 as it simply runs on Chrome OS in exactly the same way as a Chromebook. That's it for this month, but don't forget to join me next time for even more information, including a hands-on with the Acer Chromebook Tab 10.